morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, this is a joint press announcement between myself as county clerk and our treasurer, Mary Burris. I'm very pleased that she's joining us Thank for this. You. Um, this is a public awareness announcement. We received word yesterday of, uh, from the state of Illinois concerning some recent scam activity taking place in some neighboring counties. Um, news media has already reported Champaign had an incident with the county clerk's office and McLean County recently has had one with the circuit clerk's office. In both situations, the elected official's phone number, office phone number, has been spoofed and placed out when they make the phone call. So it appears as if you're receiving an official call from the elected official's office. Um, in Champaign when they did it, it was the county clerk's office and they were asking for your, uh, that's telling you that you had delinquent property taxes that were owed, you were about to lose your home or your property, and that they requested you give them your banking information and personal information off the phone and that they would take care of the situation for you. Um, in McLean County, I believe it involved the circuit clerk's office and involved uh, gift certificates. Um, Mary and I wanted to hold this today to let the citizens of Tazewell County know our offices would never reach out to you by phone and request payment over the phone for delinquent property taxes. Um, that is not the way that we go about that. Um, we, we would never uh, you know, demand payment immediately over the phone or you could lose your property. That's not the way the process works. Um, if this scam should spread throughout through other parts of Illinois, especially here in Tazewell County, we wanted our residents to be aware that this just isn't, um, a, a, that's not the nature of a phone call that you would receive from either of our offices, us being the only two offices that deal with delinquent taxes. Um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mary to say a few words. Uh, Mary? Well, thank you, John, and good morning, everyone. Um, I, I do want to uh, just um, kind of go off on what John just said. Uh, yes, we do get calls of people that um, I have brought in a record of, of people that are getting things that say that um, their re recording can be uh, done for a certain kind of fee. Um, we get calls where people have, they've talked to us about their um, sale in their taxes and um, there's companies out there that supposedly will help them make these payments. We don't do anything, as John said, we do not um, correspond through phone calls, we do not correspond through um, uh, emails, um, we, we just need you to, to be quite aware. This will not be coming, coming from the treasurer's office or the county clerk's office. Um, like I said, we, we have had, this has gone on for quite some time here, uh, just little things that are kind of building up to this. We have a, a lot of tight security here that um, we just needed to make the taxpayers aware that we do not reach out to you um, from our phone at work. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mary. Yeah, and, and again, we're trying to be proactive here rather than reactive. We have not seen an incident of the, the letter version we've seen, but we haven't had the phone scam version yet. It's not to say, like I said, it's appeared quickly in two other counties, not to say that it wouldn't come this way. So it's just a, trying to be proactive and alert our citizens that that isn't a method that we would use. Um, I'll open up for a few questions. Um, if anybody has any questions. Mary, any closing thoughts? Or? Um, I do want to say that um, we have already been dealing with one individual here in Tazewell County that um, she felt she was being scammed and it was with her um, delinquent tax sale that she, not delinquent, excuse me, her tax sale that she, first of all, didn't go to tax sale and they were wanting to make special payments for her. So um, it is out there. We, we have been working on this and um, we also tell her people, taxpayers, to get a hold of the state's attorney's office or the sheriff's office to try to um, put a stop to this. Well, with that, thank you very much, and uh, please let us know if there's anything we can do in the future. Thank you, Mary, thank for you. doing this with me. Thank you. Any questions?